Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and this special little lesson is about how to make a salmon chinois, or Chinese style slash Asian style individual salmon dish, and I'm going to show you how to put it on a plate. I have a nice piece of salmon here with the skin still attached, and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to score the skin with a knife slightly to prevent skin from buckling that should be enough right there okay and we're going to get it into a very hot pan that I have back here with a little bit of olive oil and some whole butter I'm putting that whole butter in there because I want this to brown rather quickly and then we're going to bake it in a slow oven once we brown the skin side. This is one of those rare salmon dishes or fish dishes where the skin is a preferred part of the eating experience. So let's put it in skin side down until that skin is nice and crispy. And what I'm going to do for you is down here I have all the ingredients that are going to be served with this item. Sweet soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, olive oil. We're going to make a tomato, tomato dill soy mixture with a little bit of demi-glaze. And we're going to serve the salmon on a little bit of orzo pasta salad that I made. And we're going to garnish it with scallions, sesame seeds, raspberries, pineapple, and more olive oil. This is a really fun little dish. And fairly easy to make. That's not quite seared enough for me, but um, let's give it another minute. Okay, another 45 seconds or so. See how that's kind of charred a little bit and getting crispy? Now into a 325 or 300 degree oven, just like that. And uh, as soon as we come back and I pull it out of the oven, it should only take seven, eight, nine minutes. I want this salmon cooked fairly slowly at this stage so it's nice and juicy inside. So we'll be back as soon as the salmon's done and we'll put this little sauce mixture together and we'll put it on a plate. It's been about seven, eight minutes. The salmon's perfect, you know. Of course there are preferences for how people eat salmon. You can see a little bit of the fish water coming out of the top. That's definitely an indication for you, this fish water here, that the salmon is cooked enough, okay? So let's make that sauce real quick first. And I have a hot pan here. I'm going to put some sweet soy sauce in it, which you have a video for. We're going to put a little bit of demi glazed brown sauce in it. We're going to put a splash of water in it. We're going to put a splash of sesame oil, a splash of olive oil, some of the fresh chopped tomato, fresh dill. Bring that up to a simmer real quick, which isn't going to take much. A little bit of fresh garlic in there. It's ready. It's done. Let's just taste that sauce real quick. It's just kind of like a cross between a sauce and a relish. <clears throat> this is a great combination. So, let's get the salmon on the plate. What I have here is a little bit of that orzo, very Asian style orzo pasta salad, if you want to call it that, which is uh, Italian. Uh, pasta with the ginger and some scallions and some red pepper and cucumber and peanuts in it. We're going to serve the salmon on top of that. You could put spinach there. You could put mashed potatoes there if you want. And this is normally served skin side up on the plate. And now we're going to Put the sauce around it on the plate. This is a fun dish. I've 
This is one of those dishes that I've served two or three hundred of these to people over the years in different locations where I worked as a chef. And this was always a really popular item. Put a little drizzle, a little bit of that sauce on top of there. Now let's do a little playing with this real quick. Let's put a few raspberries around this. Let's put a few scallions on here. Let's put, for fun, a little bit of pickled ginger on here. Let's put a little bit of fresh roasted red pepper on here, which I think we'll just put right on the top of this dish. And let's sprinkle some fresh diced pineapple on this dish. Oh, I love this item. This item is absolutely spectacular for me. Let's put a little bit of olive oil right on top of that fish like that. And I got some white sesame seeds here. And I have some black sesame seeds here. Okay. You have a finished plate here. This is a very simple, as you were able to see, and um, delicious and beautiful in spite of itself. Here you have it. Salmon chinois sauté.